Congratulations on your new Jitterbug Smart 2. Ready to set up your new phone? This video will show you how, step by step. To get your phone up and running as quickly as possible, we will be skipping some non-essential options. But don't worry, any option you skip can be set up later by going to Settings. First, press and hold the power button on the right side of your phone to turn it on. In a few moments, you'll see the welcome screen. Once you see the welcome screen, tap the Get Started button. You'll then see a message to take out your quick start guide that came with your phone. This will help you keep track of some important information. Tap the Next button to continue. Next, you will choose a home screen. We recommend our easy-to-use Jitterbug Smart Home Screen, which will provide a simpler, easier interface with larger text and icons. Tap the Easy-to-use Jitterbug Smart option to select it. Then, tap the Next button to continue. You will then see a message letting you know that some of the following steps are optional. You can tap Skip, or not now in the following steps and still use all the features on this phone. Tap the Get Started button to continue. Time to set up your new phone. Tap the Set Up as New option. Now let's get connected to the internet. If Wi-Fi is available, select your Wi-Fi network, then enter your password. Write down your settings in your Quick Start Guide for future reference. If you don't have Wi-Fi access or would like to set this up later, tap Use Cellular Network for Setup to proceed. Great Call covers any data usage for setup and all software updates for your new device. The next screen is optional asking you to add an existing or create a new Google account. We recommend skipping this step for now. You can always add it later while watching the video How to Add a Google Account. Adding a Google account is not required to use your Jitterbug Smart, but it will allow you to purchase additional apps from the Google Play Store and some other features. Tap Skip to proceed to a message informing you about these additional features. Tap Skip again to move on. The next screen will give you the option to disable some specific Google services. Scroll down or tap the down arrow button to review the options. Once you reach the bottom, tap the Next button to continue. Next is the option to personalize your phone with your name. Type your name here. Then tap Next to continue. You can also skip this step by just tapping Next. The Next screen will prompt you to add a screen lock code. This is for extra protection if you misplace your phone. We recommend setting this up later. Tap the Not Now option. Then tap Skip Anyway to continue. If you do choose to set up a screen lock now, write down what you entered in your Quick Start Guide as a reference. Finally, you will be prompted to review some advanced customization options. We recommend tapping Set Up Later to continue. Congratulations! You've made it to the end of the setup process. Your phone will now complete the setup with Great Calls Network. This will take a few moments and your phone may restart. When finished, you will automatically be taken to the Jitterbug home screen and you can start using your Jitterbug Smart 2. Please keep your quick start guide in a safe spot for future reference if you ever need to reset your phone. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos to learn more about the features of your new Jitterbug Smart 2.